When it comes to creating a website, the very first thing you need to think about is what pages you want to include on that website. We've already added the home page for you to make it easier. What I recommend is creating a website that follows my who, what, how, wow, and contact model. Here's what I'm talking about. The who part of the website generally includes information about your team and your company. In the case of our tutorial, Hurley Construction is owned and operated by a single person, Pat Hurley. So, I'm going to dedicate a page to Pat Hurley, his experience, and a little bit about him as a person as well. People like to know who they're working with. So, I'm going to go ahead and call this page About Pat. Next, let's talk about the what. In other words, what does Pat do? This is generally a service page, sometimes it's a product page. So in the case of this project, I'm going to create a page called Construction Services. I'm doing this to throw a keyword, construction, into the website navigation. You'll see why this is important later. Now let's talk how. How is Pat different from any other general contractor in the Bay Area? Does he have a lengthy experience, a particular style that he's perfected, maybe he is the best in town for kitchen remodels. Or, last but not least, you can use how to cover your process. That's what we'll do in this case. So, I'll call this page, What to Expect. Lastly, the wow. Collecting and showing testimonials, case studies, recent reviews, it's all a must. Today, people rely on their peers to help them make the right decisions. If someone visits our website through a search, there is a 3 to 12% chance that they will become a client. If someone is referred to us and visits our website, there is a 53% chance that they will become a client. Pretty good odds, huh? So, to keep it personalized, I'll call this page My Work. I say all this to remind you to share collect feedback, and display that feedback. And last but not least, a contact page is always a good idea as well. So our page lineup is going to look something like this. Home, which we already created for you, about Pat, construction services, what to expect, my work, and get a quote. This will make a total of six pages. To create your new pages, go ahead and click the Pages link in the left hand navigation. You will see that the home page has been created and is showing in the list. Click the Add New button at the top of the Pages section. This will open up the Page Editor screen. Enter the title for the page, then click the blue Publish button on the right hand side. Once you do, your page will be added to the Pages list and you will see the Add New button appear at the top of the screen again. Click Add New and repeat until you've created all your new site pages. Once you've created and published the last page, confirm the creation of your pages by clicking the Pages link again in the Dashboard Navigation. So as you can see, all six of my pages now show up in the pages list. So here's a couple notes for creating pages for your website. You'll want to follow the KISS model. This means keep it simple. Don't add more pages to your website than you absolutely need. The more pages you add, the harder it will start becoming to drive site visitors exactly where you want them to go. You want website visitors to convert to clients, customers, or leads and as little clicks as possible. Remember, you only have a few seconds to impress someone when they visit a page. If they are not interested in your content or it's overwhelming, they're going to leave. Create page titles that entice people to want to click. For example, if I'm interested in learning what the process of working with Pat is like, I'm more likely to click what to expect than something like process. To recap, keep it simple, keep it tight, and keep it informative.